What do you see here? I see a little bit of water. Purple stars. A second press olive oil. Which one's on top? Oil. My brother from Florida. Do you think it's possible to get the oil to sink in the water? If God's willing, man. Yes. No. What would it take to make the oil sink? Like it less What a good idea. Come on, you're my one phone call. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go to the audience hey. next. Who wants to do some science? I do. Oh, I do. Oh, me, 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 me. OK, everybody. So let's do an experiment here. We'll do an experiment. We'll start our experiment by putting ice in water. OK. And I, and take some ice, let's put it in the water. OK. And it's floating. Why? Less dense. We've got ice floating on water, right? Mm -hmm. OK. What do you think would happen if we change the density of the water? If we reduce the density of the water, what would the ice do? Sink. How do you reduce the density? Good question. I have here isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, which is less dense than water. If I add alcohol to the water, what's it going to do to the density of the liquid? It will lower it. Do you want to add some alcohol to that? Just, just a little? Yeah, just to sort of pour it in gently. Oh, you seem that Oh. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. The ice has left the surface. That's cool. Hey, what have you seen? The ice went down. When it's floating, is the ice less dense or more dense than the water? Less dense, yeah. It's less dense. What would you think about the density of the ice in the water now? There's no difference there. And it's getting close it's to the density of the water at this point? Equal. It's equal. My goodness, we've discovered something. When the ice is floating on the top, it's called positive buoyancy. When it's just suspended like that, that's neutral buoyancy. Uh, it doesn't want to go up, doesn't want to go down. They have the same density. Let's try a second experiment with something that is also less dense than water. Vegetable oil. OK. So the alcohol and the water mix, right? They're mixing up there. And because alcohol is less dense than water, we've reduced the density of the liquid. OK, I'm going to add a spoon of oil. Do oil and water mix? No, no. oil and water do not mix. <laughs> oil floats on water. <laughs> Why don't they? Different densities. Do alcohol and water mix? Yes. yes. Are they different densities? Yes. It may not be density. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to add a spoon of oil. Mm, okay. Good one. Okay, what do we have there? What do you see? Floating bubble of oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's a floating bubble of oil. What's the difference in density between the oil and the liquid around it? Neutral buoyancy. There's no difference in density. That's right. The oil is neutrally buoyant. Is it mixing with the water? No. 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 Why don't oil and water mix? We should know, <laughs> that. We should know that. We should know that. <laughs> is it the density difference? No, otherwise they would no. yeah. Oil and water don't mix because of differences at a molecular level. It's got nothing right. to do with the difference of density. Water molecules and oil molecules don't get along together. So they just like to stay with their own kind of molecule. Let's try a little surgery here. Mm, surgery. Oh. Nice. Oh, it's going to split into two. <laughs> I'm cutting the oil. Yes, you are. Hold it up and we can see what you've got. Oh, look at those beautiful spheres. Very awesome. Cool. So at the end of the day, why do ice cubes float? There's less dense, less density than water. Right. And why does oil float? Same. Why do oil and water not mix? Because of their molecular structures. The molecular compounds are different and they don't mix. They don't hold hands. 